So usually with video, it takes a lot of equipment, several cameras, lighting, audio equipment, you need a team, you need a van, etc. Well, I'm interested in how to get that all into one bag and still produce full high quality video and audio for uh, this festival we're recording today. I will be doing some talking heads. So we're using the Gim Gimbal S3 with the uh, Sony um, A7R 4 on here and uh, the other camera recording on is the uh, Alpha 7C um, and we're using the uh, travel small rig which is nice and sturdy love this fits in this bag here uh, gimbal fits in here both cameras fit in here we're recording on the zoom h6 uh, through the deity uh, twin pack uh, lav mics so all this in here plus uh, spare prime lenses so let's see how it all goes together. So as you can see with the setup here, I've got the uh, audio kit rigged up, the Sony A7C on the uh, tripod, um, and uh, the Dirty receiver there, uh, which obviously I'm mic'd up to, and this is for my talking heads. Um, I've got the um, 85mm 1.8 um, Sony lens on there, and um, doing a superb job of dropping the background out of focus and just uh, isolating the subject. So, um, as you can see here, I'm using the, um, the Weeber Less and I've got the 24mm uh, um, GM lens on here, the Sony GM lens, it's a 1.4. Um, it's given me so much flexibility today, so I've been able to really isolate my uh, subjects. And um, some of the day I've been using it uh, just at f4 when I'm doing wider general shots. Um, but when I'm doing like detail, then I've been dropping it to the 1. 1.4 when I really want to isolate um, the subject or some specific object in my shot. So today I've also been trying out these ND filters by Niwa. Um, just trying them out today on this main camera here as well. Um, it's got the 85mm Sony lens on it, it's a 1.8, and um, that's also had NDs on it. Um, these are great, they come as a stack um, of four. So you're not using a variable. Uh, I've tried the variable and frankly it did not work for me at all so um, got rid of that sent that back and bought these individual ones what's nice about them is they also stack so they screw together um, like so so you're you're doubling up or you know here I've got um, a four and a two so obviously that's going to give me ND6 etc so very flexible and um, nice clean no fringing no vignetting so I've been very pleased with these today they've been very effective uh, easy to add more on but what's nice as well is your lens cap will still clip onto these uh, so very clever very flexible um, nice build quality not expensive so be very pleased with those okay so uh, at the moment I've got the uh, ND2 on here um, that said there's no rules, the sun's been in and out, I've had to play around with the shutter speed to compensate, playing around with the ISO to compensate, uh, so it's all been going on, but um, at least having the ND on there, it's allowed me to be able to drop down to 1.4 when I need to, so uh, that's um, the basic setup here, um, I've got my mobile phone here that I'm using as a monitor, and um, that's connected through the Monitor Plus app and um, there will be a follow-up video that will tell you a bit more about connecting the um, Monitor uh, Plus app and, uh, and how well it works.
If you got value out of this video, please hit the subscribe button where we're creating videos regularly using different kit, testing stuff out in real world life situations. So see you in the next one.